Virgo, <clears throat> how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, Virgo, let's get into this reading. Personal link, description box below and at the top of the chat. How you guys doing? Did you have a lovely day, lovely evening, lovely morning? I hope so. Hi, mods. How are you? All right, Virgo. This is a general love reading, so if you are new, welcome. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you like the channel, please do subscribe. And thanks for all your support, you guys. All right, let's see. What are the messages? There we go. You already have two cards falling out here. Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody here feeling sad. Somebody's here feeling very sad. Um, sad that, okay, I'm just going to give you the message, Virgo. Somebody you might have been connecting with sad that you didn't wait for them to come in with the offer that they were hoping to give you. Okay. Or regretful and remorseful that they took their own sweet time. Or they took too much time. Okay. Nothing else wants to come out. So we're going to pull to make something right here with you. Libra and energy. Okay. I feel like there is somebody here that, you know, really wanted to make some kind of solid offer to you, do the right thing. Um, I'll dig deeper. I'll dig deeper. I'll clarify more to see what this energy is all about. Yeah, there you are. Queen of Pentacles. Or this somebody that you were connecting with, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. All right. Oh, we have the sun. Somebody's on the cusp of Leo Virgo, August 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Libra, Libra, Taurus energy. The Empress. Two of Pentacles. Oh, the Six of Cups. And the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. The Chariot. Determination. Mm. Was somebody... Maybe somebody was um, sad that you gave up on them maybe there was travel issues or car issues somebody couldn't make it on a date to connect with you and you just said nope I want to strike you out <laughs> or this is the second time you blew me off I'm not waiting anymore but you know what I feel like this person's coming in now this person's coming in vroom vroom they're gonna make that offer Turning a new leaf here. Coming in. There's love coming. Somebody's also paying someone back for money that was owed. Huh. Yeah, taking a trip. King of Swords energy for some. Ooh. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Look, you've got two marriage cards back to back. Taurus energy. This per oh my gosh, there's so much movement and travel. There's change. Change is happening here. Wow, that's insane. All right, let me see here. Somebody wants to work with you, collaborate with you, be part of a team, partnership. All right, let's see what the love messages are. If I get anything else from that, I'll let you know. Uh, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio. Gemini. All right, let's see what the love messages are here. Okay, keep an open mind. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. You guys, this is somebody that you know. 
deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, we've got somebody here, Virgo, or you've got somebody here that's really remorseful. Um, Five of Cups energy. Somebody's feeling the loss, abandoned, feeling unloved. Um, just feels like regret. There's a lot of regret. Nine of Swords. Stressing about this. Stressing about... It feels to me like that they took their time or made you wait for maybe marriage or to become, how do I wanna say, I guess maybe legal in some way for some of you. I don't know if this might have some, I just, they gave me the word immigration. I don't, I'm not really sure. Are they sad that immigration held something back? Something happened, it might've been like some restrictions of some sort, but Oh gosh, I'm just feeling, I feel like this person was hoping that you would keep an open mind, maybe stick around or stay. <clears throat> yeah, this has to do with travel or someone going the distance, taking a risk. You had somebody here who, you know, I don't feel like this person was someone who was spontaneous, okay? Um, they definitely were on this path or they wanted to be on this particular path with you. And um, they definitely wanted to have some kind of truth. But I feel like that is gonna change for them. So I'm just hearing, cause I, I, saw, the, I saw the Knight of Swords. I, where did it go? I know I saw it. Did I, put, did I take it out of the deck? I, I, I'm feeling that Knight of Swords energy with this person. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is, it's right there in my face, God forbid here this person's now coming in right they're going to take that risk they've been waiting and waiting and they're out they're <clears throat> listen i don't know if you made them wait or if this person just their way or the nature of how they are they just take their time with things and it feels to me like the anxiety is getting them and they are really feeling lost without you and now i feel like they're going to speed things up and come in and try to do the right thing here. <laughs> Surrender, Ten of Swords. Um, I feel like this person is open here to some kind of connection with you, or relationship, or commitment, or marriage, or you know, coming in to give you what you want, Virgo. Whatever it was that you wanted, they have plans. They're going to be communicating with you of their plans and ideas, the things that they're thinking about, facing their fears, overcoming the obstacles with the Six of Swords. Relocate, maybe even move. If you're at a distance to one another, travel, make these changes. This Wheel of Fortune, this gives me a sense that um, whatever it is that you wanted, there's like a turning point happening here. in this relationship, in this connection, okay? Some of you wanted someone to get past a gambling problem or some gambling addiction that might have interfered with a relationship, okay? Um, some of you were hoping to close the distance or the gap on a relationship. In other words, maybe you were at you're far away and maybe you never met and you were just communicating online because you're at a distance. Some of you were hoping um, the person that they would actually take initiative and if you're at a distance, buy that ticket 
or pay for some ticket to come to be with you. Some of you are hoping this person would be more spontaneous and just take that risk. Some of you were also hoping that this person would um, not let the fact that you work together keep the relationship from moving forward. I feel like there might have been some obstacles. Some of you were just hoping that this person would come in more spiritually, um, come in in the relationship in a more conventional way, meet your expectations, conform to a traditional relationship, okay? And this person, it feels like they held off, they put obstacles in front of the progress of your connection, okay? Um, some of you were hoping this person would get divorced or get away from some of you, a lot of this could be what you're hoping for now or were or get away from someone that they've been involved with a lot of you are just praying for a blessing hoping for a miracle and that's what this energy is to not be let down hoping to not be disappointed some of you were hoping for a child or proposal or marriage of some sort with this person. And I just feel like this person was just taking their time and making you wait. Because the Knight of Pentacles is always a card about someone who's reliable but very patient and just kind of tiptoes like a turtle along. They let time go by time go by keep dating forever just keep staying engaged with one another forever moving forward but at such a slow pace um that no one could pop i mean like a thousand lifetimes would pass and this person would yeah get in there maybe a, a tad bit of procrastination um and it feels like with the fool here they're just gonna prepare themselves to take that risk here surrender to doing the right thing with you and i hope definitely hoping that you will be keeping an open mind in regard to that you're still if you're still open-minded about them because i feel like this person felt that the, the obstacles maybe the obstacles they saw they they you how can i say this there was something different about the two of you. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but you both had different expectations and also this person did not feel like they could live up to your expectations, but, or they couldn't meet your needs or make you happy in some way. This person, they 100% believe that you are the one for them. They look at you in that queen of pentacles energy male or female as being someone who is resourceful domesticated <laughs> you know very routine uh solid practical leader someone who's like a wise investor maybe you invest in crypto or stocks or um you do like financial planning or you do something with finances like obviously this person looks at you as someone who's got a brain and you're very down to earth and practical you're not you're not flaky and they love this about you they also love for the females like a very that you have a very feminine energy you remind them a lot of the good traits of their own mother is what i just heard and for the males they want to be like a mother of your child or you know, to have a child together, um, to have a new beginning. They want to be someone that you don't see as only um, someone who can bring a financial aspect to it, but also beauty to unveil, unveil the beauty they want. For the males, they want you to see their beauty, the femininity. But let's take a look at how else they see you here, Virgo. Okay. Well, they see you as being very withdrawn at this time. Four of Swords. 
definitely retreating. They, they think that you don't want to talk to them. You're not interested in them. You've given up. You don't have an open mind about this situation anymore. I feel like this person is coming to terms with the fact that they're missing you, which tells me, or they're feeling the loss, which tells me you're not in communication with this person at this time, okay? Um, and I feel like they're really suffering. They're all, almost at this point where they're afraid that maybe it's done, dead in the water, ten of swords here. Okay, that it's just like completely over. A total ending. Painful one, so to speak. And I feel like they want to try to make it right here. Try to make something right. They see you as being very uplifting and positive. Like a bright light in their dark world. Or in the areas where there was so much darkness. They see you having a very playful kind of energy here. Um... And also, like, being very positive. They, they sense, like, a positive energy about you. Um, it kind of feels to me like they also, they see you as someone who's very successful. That you have a lot of material success or joys at this time. But they also feel very positive about you. I don't feel like there's really anyone else that they, that they feel this way about. It's just you. Yeah. Four of Pentacles again. So it feels to me like this person really, they know that you're the one. It's not this could be the one. And you already know this person. Okay. Now I know yesterday's reading was in, in huge contrast to what we're picking up today. But just understand that as I said, every day can be different, and then other days can just blend and be a continuation, okay? Um, so this may not resonate for all of you, and if it causes you confusion, well, wait till the energy or the reading is finished, or at least pick up what resonates and leave the rest, okay? But I feel here that this person does not want to let you go. They definitely see a long-term thing with you where I feel like they felt that way with you before, but it feels to me like they were slower than a pack of dead snails. It's weird. Hold on. I just saw something. I remember seeing when I picked this up. Yeah, I'm going to show you these. This person, look. This person spent more time contemplating, should I or shouldn't I, should I or shouldn't I, yet still holding on to you and knowing that you were soulmates, should I or shouldn't I. I don't really feel like there's any toxic energy here with this person, so this might not be the toxic ex from the past. I feel this is more of like a two of cups relationship where the energy was romantic and it was nice and it was soulmatey and it was sweet. But it didn't really get a chance to get to the finish line because this person just stalled a lot. I feel like a lot of stalling. And that four of pentacles, you know, this person was quite greedy. They wanted to hold on to you, but they blocked the progress and they just kept it at this two of pen, uh, two of cups energy where I don't know, some of you just felt like, okay, well, are, what are we just friends? We're just going to be friends. Is that it? That's what it's going to be forever. Maybe for some, you were in a casual relationship and maybe somebody caught feelings. And um, maybe there was like this friends, but also casual intimacy type of situation. It just, I feel like this person just kept stalling and with the moon energy really not giving you clarity or, or keeping things um, on the up and up with the moon and you spent more time trying to get answers through tower readings or your intuition to try to figure out what was going on because you really weren't getting much here so tell me about this empress energy here what is going on here okay yeah the lovers see 
<laughs> this person knows that you are it for them. Like, for the females, you are the queen of all the queens. No, oh my gosh, <laughs> nothing compares to you. And that's just what I'm hearing. No one compares to you. And have there been others? I feel like this person has been doing a hell of a lot of window shopping. Um, were they with another person? They may have been. Um, I'm not seeing cheating here, but if it shows up, I will. Um, but I feel like they were, oh God, I just heard. They were looking for someone who was very similar to their own mother. Um, and I feel like that is for the females, okay? Um, and for the males, I feel like this person wants to be your wife or your, you know, your partner for life, that true love, deep love. Your person wants you to choose, they want you to choose them, okay? So it's already been established, I feel, here. If you were dealing with someone from the past and you, this is resonating, you feel like this is your past person, I feel like they have always loved you, they have always seen themselves with you, but they just really were taking their time and really couldn't make up with their mind. And some of you just did not want to wait anymore. You just called it, you put time on it, called time on it. And some of you just decided, and you know what? go for it do it you got to do what you got to do i mean you just cannot wait forever for someone because then yeah look you look you put up boundaries to this connection definitely and you said no more uh, because you've been waiting and waiting with temperance here waiting and waiting for that support for that love to come in that connection to happen and a lot of you call time on it. And if you haven't, and you've been waiting like years and years and years, well, what are you waiting for? A certain, certain shade of green? Are you waiting for the cows to fly? <laughs> Pigs to fly? What the hell is it? I don't know. Farm animals everywhere. What are you waiting for? 1984. Some of you have been going that long or born in 1984. I just feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. You're so patient, Virgo. You're more patient than this person. You know why? Because... You were waiting for them. Would they have waited this long for another person? Probably not. They probably would have just scooped themselves up and took off. So it feels like the waiting energy here, you called time on it. <clears throat> you called time on it. And um, they're regretting. I see here regret and remorse making you wait for so long or for whatever their reasons were why they couldn't do something or why they didn't feel like it feels mostly like they did not feel like they could meet the needs that you wanted but maybe they just couldn't meet their own needs so i just see obviously gemini energy here but listen virgo that's all explanations and that's all what it is um the problem with waiting forever when somebody doesn't give you a time frame so the purpose of engagement is kind of like a promise if the person for those of you who didn't receive or get into an engagement with this person um, and just waited willy-nilly the problem with that is then you can't call time on something the purpose of engagement is to say hey here's a ring and i promise that we will be married at such and such a date and then you or you pick a date together a lot of you just settled for well i'll just wait for him to make up his mind or i'll wait for her to make up her mind and that's insanity that's just insanity you know like i'm hearing <laughs> if you like it well you should have put a freaking ring on it right and maybe some of you did get a ring listen i know females i have to say this who do receive an engagement ring from their partner and then they don't get married 10 years goes by and they've been engaged for 10 years what the fuck the hell out of here the heck is that right slow 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 were they were they trying to figure out were they just passing the time were they just looking for someone to keep 
connected to them? Were they still exploring other options? Did they feel like they couldn't meet your needs? And maybe they were saying at some point, maybe they would. I feel like they're coming in to do it now. But Virgo, I mean, I do feel like they've, they have weighed their options here. You know, um, options, I don't feel like it's people. Okay, I don't feel like it's like, okay, well, you know, it's this person or Virgo. I feel like it's more has to do with them making a decision. The choice, the option was whether to commit or not to commit. They struggled with that. Okay, and I feel like two is about decisions and partnerships, and I feel like they have seen that committing is the answer because it's not only what you want but it's time and because you may have called time on it and if you haven't yet you need to um because that's going to make all the difference the six of cups is here and i feel like this person will come in with sincerity right they think about you all the time virgo their memories of you now, for some, they could have, it could have been a choice for some between you and somebody else. Or they may have put a third party in the middle of it just to say they, they weren't sure there was somebody else. But I don't feel like that really was the question. That was just a decoy. I feel like this person really has commitment issues, or they did in the past. And that's why they stalled. If they stall, it's either commitment issues or they do not love you. It's one or the other. Now, for some of you, this person, it's they could love you and have commitment problems or they may not have commitment issues and just tell you that they do. But the love is not enough, right? They tell you that they love you, you know, but they have commitment issues or... Um, they tell you that they have commitment issues, but it's that they don't love you. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. You have to figure out like what the issue is for you. I just feel like let me ask. What was the issue? I'm just going to ask. Why did this why were they? Why was Virgo's person stalling or just keeping things? And why now? What's the change here? Yeah, they had commitment issues. I th I feel like they do love you. They still do. They're very much in love with you. Four of Wands in the reverse. Uh, maybe arguments. This could be an uh, energy of like leaving home, moving out. But it feels like it just feels to me like they had an issue with being a family or starting a family together or having a family type of thing. It may be issues with your extended family. They or there might have been something here where they they didn't feel like they could live up to your family's expectations for some of you. And when I say family, like it, you know, I mean it could be siblings, it could be your kids, uh, it could be the people you call family, or your close friends, your tight knit tribe, that kind of thing. I really feel like this person felt out of place or feels out of place, but it seems to me. Like they're going to throw their cares to the wind and just do it. Coming in with that Six of Cups energy. Could be an apology. It feels sincere to me. You know? It feels innocent. They want a reunion. Yeah, coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. Like a solid offer. It's like, I don't know. For some of you... This person may have, may have had their own time or cap on it. 
In other words, like you might have been like, okay, like I'm going to wait a year. I'm going to wait six months. I mean, if you waited more than two years, then you're out of your freaking mind. <laughs> but hey, the heart wants what the heart wants. So we're not judging, right? Um, there could be a lot of reasons for waiting. And some of you made that decision consciously and you were okay with it. And so your time frame might have been different than theirs. Maybe they needed more time than you did. And some of you were willing to go above and beyond your time frame to wait and others, you know, to meet theirs. And others of you just said, no, I cannot wait that long. But it feels like to me, this person is mostly coming in because they're at their time limit now. Like they're ready. And it really doesn't have all that much to do with you it ha because this person seems to have their own agenda and they do what they want when it suits them. Okay, two of pentacles on the two of pentacles. I love when that happens. So that's, that's definitely like this person has doubly weighed all of the the options they've figured everything out they've sorted it out they've analyzed it they've figured out this is not a spontaneous person this might be someone who is a bit shy their shyness and their withdrawal leaves an element of deception um their silence um because I feel like this person is most of the time in their head sorting things out and it looks like they're being deceptive towards you. I don't feel like that's the case, but I do feel like they are going to come in and surprise you um, with what's going to happen here. And a lot of you may not trust it because you don't have clarity about what was really going on. And you're here and I'm giving you some clarity here. This person... You know the you know the statue, the thinking man, you know, like I said, we're energy here, not sex. This person, rather than taking action, would rather just sit and think about it a little bit more. They get they go down like this rabbit hole of weighing all of their options, and then they get to the point where they're so overwhelmed with having to make a decision that they just abandon the whole process and then they go quiet or they ghost or they just disappear and then they come back in with the love and then you're like oh, I, it just happens so many times you just don't know if they're really ready this time and what's it going to take for them to show you that they're ready <laughs> king of pentacles here proof tangible evidence some of you are like you got to get me that ring you got to make that promise no i'm not even going to wait for engagement at this point if we're not going to get married like you got to do it if you guys are looking for that but something you see that pentacle that pentacle represents proof you need proof you need evidence to believe that this person is going to come in with this solid offer and that they are ready and i feel like you're going to get it here okay for some of you like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage. It could just be to move the relationship wrong along. So some of you, this person's going to come in and say, yeah, let's move in together. Let's buy a home together. Remember I was saying something legal, okay? Some type of legal contract is proof, going to business together, a partnership, um, change the last names. This could just be a civil, um, legal, um, like marriage like if you get married by the judge or just some type of legal papers it's just some kind of proof proof that you've paid something down payment on a home um not so much to be gifted with things but proof that something is going to be real between the two of you and for some it could be like you know you if you like it, well, good, put that ring on it. So for some of you, it could be that. Um, for others, it's just... <laughs> it's going to take a million dollars for you to prove to me that this is what you... Like, you're going to have to give me a million bucks. or I'm not staying because that's what you owe me because I waited so freaking long. <laughs> um, yeah. 
But this deception here, why this, why this false self mask? Some of you, I feel like, have been walking around with this false mask, telling everybody or your friends or people that this situation has not bothered you and you're over it and you're okay. But a lot of you are deeply, deeply hurt um, and maybe even estranged from this person at this time. And some of you may be a bit humiliated because you have or have known people that have met and the relationship progressed and the person they were with was good and healthy and promising and they made them feel like a superstar. And a lot of you were like, why wasn't I good enough? And don't ever get yourself in that position. Like I say all the time, just because somebody drives past a jewelry store and doesn't go in, doesn't make the diamond any less valuable. Other people, what they say and what they do is none of your business and it should not have any reflection on you because you are you have agency you are a whole beautiful handsome strong competent amazing person and if somebody was going to make you wait because of their own issues that's their issue and they're either going to have to just bite the bullet and do something or consequences and they got to move on, move on. You may not, don't deceive yourself that you, the whole core of your reputation and your self-esteem, that you don't have to go around faking anything. If you're hurt, say you're hurt. If you feel humiliated, say you're humiliated. If you waited a real long time for your love and your twin flame or your soulmate or whatever, be proud of that because that shows extreme dedication and loyalty as a testament of who you are and I feel like this person sees that about you because I don't feel like anybody would have stuck and stuck around as long as you did for this person because why you truly love them and they truly do love you I just feel like this person really had issues with basically commitment in some ways because they just feared that they would fail at it and this person I don't feel like I don't feel like they like to fail yeah they like to be seen as someone who's strong and competent and confident Leo energy maybe for some they like to be looked at as someone who is courageous and you know they like to be respected. They don't like anybody to know. Yeah, they like to be seen as someone who's a fighter and a winner. They don't like anyone to know that they can't. This person, I feel like, is does have an element of courage and strength in many areas of their life. But when it comes to love and when it comes to long-term commitment, they just they run they run from that they get scared yeah they run away they get that the wheel moving um for some this person just did not want to give up their they they wanted their life they had their life set a certain way and they they don't they don't want anyone that's part of this commitment problem is that they didn't want anyone crunching on their routines or their way of life that's how they view relationships as like it's some kind of prison sentence. They're just a, a bit selfish, a bit self-centered. You know, what's mine is mine, what's yours is mine. And they didn't know. <laughs> it just feels like they didn't want anyone. Boy, talk about a grow up, growing up. They didn't want anyone telling them what to do. That's how they view marriage or long-term commitment that I'm going to be 100% responsible to this person for the rest of my life and this person's going to tell me what to do how to dress who to talk to who to be with really healthy relationships are voluntary in other words it's not it's not a prison sentence it's two people who you know it's two people who, because they love each other and trust each other so much they do you become one and a lot of people are afraid of and i feel like your person was afraid of losing their sense of self they're afraid of losing their autonomy and their agency 
And so they kind of kept you waiting and waiting because they were stuck. They wanted you. They wanted all the stuff about you that was easy and free. And they didn't want the part that would have them be accountable or responsible to you in a relationship. You know, that's the commitment issue. That's what that's all about. They, If they wanted to be able to talk to other people, they didn't want jealousy. They didn't want control. Um, and why? Because this person is like that. That They fear the very thing they are. All right, let's get some... So, you know, Virgo, some of you are like, okay, well, yeah, this person's coming in and, you know, I've already left the scene of the crime and I'm not, I'm out, I'm moving on. I'm open to meeting somebody new, somebody comes along. I'm not breaking my back to meet anybody, but there have been a few and I'm talking to some people. Um, it just feels like this person's decision to come back in and want to really give you what you want was based on their timeline and not yours so that means to me that there still was no consideration for how you felt material wishes being granted okay so some of you are going to get like i said for the females this person is going to come in with like a promise ring or engagement or you know offer their hand they're going to definitely come in with proof okay so whatever it is, if you're considering a letting this person come back in and you already have it in your mind, what kind of proof you're going to need for them to return, you're going to get that, okay? Or if you ask them for it or tell them this is what you need, you're going to get that. Still undecided. That's you. Yeah. Some of you are like, I don't know. I guess if my person really shows up in this one last time and goes the distance and really takes that risk because my love is still there and it's still strong, then I, I guess I will. And others of you are like, I don't know so much. And that's fine because we have a whole bunch of people here listening. So it's going to be different for everybody. <laughs> Some of you are just like, no, I'm not get me away from that boring motherfucker. This, uh, the board got bored waiting. Oh my gosh. You, you might have even told your person that you were bored because nothing was happening. Some of you just do not want this back. This person is definitely bored without you. That's for sure. And some of you just do not want it. Like you don't want to be, I can't, I just can't stress that enough. They're bored. They have, this person does not have anything else going on nobody serious in their life they're really sad and they're really regretful and all they can think about is you point blank period regret just like i said they're not with anybody else even if they are they're so wrapped up in their sorrow and their grief about i feel losing you they have, this does kind of feel a little bit like yesterday, hitting that rock bottom. Okay, future plans, choosing a path. So this person is going to come in with those future plans that you that you want that, that both for both of you. And like I said, you're, you might be undecided. You might be undecided right now. Some of you were like, damn, I was just getting over this and I'm ready for somebody new or I'm talking to somebody new and you're telling me now they're going to come in. Well, I'll tell you what, the best way, and this goes all across the board for both sexes or however many genders there are, this goes all the way across the board. The minute you stop wanting something, that's when it wants you. That's just, that's just physics that's just the way it works in life and i'll give you an example of that and i don't think i need to because i think a lot of you agree but i'm you know me i have my analogies i have a dog and when i play with my dog his name is echo he grabs his ball in his mouth and he stands in front of me and he drops the ball right at my feet and i pick up the ball and i throw it and then he goes to get it and he comes back but he doesn't drop it he wants me to get it from him. And as soon as I try to get it, he runs away. 
and makes me chase him. And then as soon as I say, nope, I'm not chasing you, and I turn around and I go the other way, he runs back with a fierceness like I've never seen. No, 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 don't go. Here's the ball, here's the ball. And he comes up, but he doesn't drop it right away because he still wants me to chase him. So he just runs back. But then I reach again, I play the game, and I reach again, but I have no intention of grabbing the ball. And then he, he jukes me, right? And then I turn around and I go back, and this time he comes back and he actually drops the ball. So if you're trying to get your person back, then you should probably be willing to leave it, them permanently. But the problem with that is if the dumb doofus that you're dealing with doesn't... <laughs> It sounds personal, it's not, trust me. The dumb doofus or doofette that you're dealing with is not paying attention that you have left the scene of the crime. Some of you pull a, a Brian Laundry and you're like out the door and you're long gone before they even notice because they're just too busy wrapped up in themselves. And then you're like, you're so far away, it's just too late. You've forgotten all about them. So I, I just kind of feel like you this is like a double message we have different things going on here for different people <laughs> some of you ghosted or blocked this person well good for you that's what you needed to do sometimes you just need to take a breather like i said i feel like this person feels like you've retreated and you've pulled away and you're not communicating you're not reaching out you're not chasing you know you're letting that dog run and you're just like no you're out but i feel like that is the trigger that is the trigger that's getting this person to they're missing you they're missing you in your absence absence makes the heart grow fonder and if this person is not coming back since you sometimes you gotta test people you leave and they're not coming back full force but they're coming back a little it's the scenario I gave you with the dog, but then you got to leave again. Sometimes you just got to be, but at some point you got to leave and you got to not say when you're coming back or if you are. And you not let them know what you're doing. They're spying on you, spying and deception here. Yep. That's what that is. This false mask. All right. Some of you, you're online. And they're watching you with a fake account or they're communicating with you with a fake account okay some of you may even have already been talking to them and you don't even know it or they've got people who are coming in like your person's like go check on them go check on Virgo you know or suddenly you have a new friend request on social media or you have you met somebody or you see, you keep seeing the same person, like trust your intuition. You keep seeing the same person. Um, this person is wearing, I don't, this isn't your, per well, this is your person by proxy, right? Like they have a proxy out there that's pretending and feeding them the information on you. It's trying to find out like what's going on in your life. Where are you? Or they're spying and they're looking for you so they can figure out like, where'd you go? <laughs> watch yourselves on social media and watch your phone you might be getting some strange phone calls hmm that's interesting this card says look at it differently sometimes you have to let go of old notions even though you may feel stuck it's just an illusion try seeing the situation from a positive perspective there's a silver lining to everything a slight change in view can and will make the predicament easier all right that's piscean energy that's the hanged man that's changing your perspective some of you are doubting yourselves that somebody is spying on you some of you need to take a closer look. That's what I mean. You need to like think to yourself. I mean, I know some of you are like, oh, your person has it in them to do this. But others are like, nah, they wouldn't do that. Um, hello. You need to see things a little more clearly here. It's not an illusion. Okay, mature, dynamic, fiery male. All right, some of you, this is a fire sign, who you're dealing with, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, 
but this is a male. So for the guys who are involved with females, your female has a male spying on you. Okay, watching you, talking to you, or just, you know, this person may come in very aggressively or already has. You may have befriended this person already. You might be talking to him in the chat. Alex, it might be Derek. Derek, it might be Alex. <laughs> Sorry, I'm planting fake seeds here. I don't mean that. <laughs> okay, non-committal. See, that's what you were dealing with with this person. It wasn't you. I feel like the love, I do feel like the love was there, but it, the commitment issues, this person is non-committal, just like I said. Wealth, health, and abundance. Listen, Virgo, you know what? You're okay. You're good. You got what you need. You're in a good place here. There's no love here, right? It doesn't mean... It's not coming, but I think like you're stable. So that's really good. You have your health, you have whatever wealth that you have, and you have abundance. It's about waking up every day and choosing to count your blessings rather than count your losses. Count your blessings instead. Find things to be grateful for. Get away from negative thinking. That's what I was just saying. It should say no negative thinking. Yep, there's your person. Yeah, this is a little bit of, this is a softer sequel to yesterday's episode, but this person's definitely hitting rock bottom here. Look at this, the energy of these cards. Look at this, defeated, sad, hitting rock bottom. This card is hitting rock bottom. This is like really regretful that they took so long to come in and do right by you. For some of them, it's like, because you're already gone. They know you're gone. They're hoping you're not. Look, victory, recognition, applause. Wow. I feel like I was talking about that. Oh, yeah. This person, something, didn't I say something about them wanting to win? them wanting to be the victor and they do want to be the victor here they do want to try to win you back they want you to recognize that that they're really going to try here they're going to pull out all the stops um go broke they're surrendering they want your appreciation and your applause they want you to support them Virgo, there's only so much you're going to be able to do. I get it. You're, some of you, listen, I will never tell you what to do, right? Well, maybe I will. But in this situation, you know yourselves. You know yourselves. You know when you have reached your limit. And some of you have. And some of you are like, you got a little bit of love left in you. And you're going to have to make this decision when this person comes in about what you want and what you want to do. You know, I'm going a really long time. Some of you, this is a financial decision. Some of you, this has a lot to do. Okay, some of you are, what did I say? Show me the money. Show me the money. That Some of you want that for proof. All right, let me see. I just want to get your, the love messages here. Okay, obsession, abundance. And past life love. All right, this is definitely a past person, okay? Your soul remembers this connection. Abundance, you've done the work, so you're good. Like I was saying, you have health, wealth, and abundance. This person is totally obsessed with you. They're obsessed. They always have been, but not in a bad way. They're just obsessed with also winning you back at this time. They're just all the... the, the I just feel like they're in so much grief, Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. And you ought to be. You should be. Vulnerable in the sense where you tell the truth about how you feel. I don't mean walking around with your heart on your sleeve. I don't believe in that. I believe that you should guard your heart because there's a lot of sleuths and snakes out there. You should guard your heart always. But you don't have to guard your truth. 
you always come out with the truth with your sword live by the sword die by the sword always give the truth about how you feel but not open your heart so that you can be stabbed that's protected for a reason that's why it's in your rib cage okay for some of you this is a friendship remember i said for some this might have been a casual friends with an intimate aspect to it okay that you were waiting for this person to figure it out well yeah i told you that 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 is what they are doing here they're ready to move this forward some of you just said no more maybe you expressed your feelings to them and they were like not down with it because they weren't feeling it at the time or acting as if they weren't feeling it and they just wanted to keep it casual and some of you said okay well i don't want that anymore so if you don't want to be with me i'm going to go find somebody else and now they want to be with you <laughs> um okay let's get your pull a couple of cards for your wait no we want some moonology cards my readings are going longer because i guess i'm putting more decks in you know we like more decks alex derek Keep it quiet, keep it clean. You and your loved ones are safe, okay? That's a special message for somebody. I don't really feel like it ties in with this reading, um, but whatever or however that resonates for you. Your dreams, what the heck? Your dreams need a practical plan. New moon, we have Cancer and Taurus here. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, that's interesting. That's mutable moon. That's you. If you have moon in Virgo as well, definitely you. Mutable just means constant change. Nothing is fixed yet. This situation is still undecided. And these cards are really clarifying balance, spirituality, and practicality. Moon in Pisces. So if you have a moon in Cancer, your loved ones and you are safe. If you have a moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. If you have a moon in Pisces, balance your spirituality and practicality. And for all of you, nothing is yet set in stone. Okay? It's early still for things to, you know kind of come through um hmm. all right let's get your advice and then we'll do your charms and then i'll get you guys out of here okay what is your advice i love you all so much i love this channel i'm so happy that we are here together it's just the greatest thing ever And when I'm talking to the guys, I know Alex and Derek are not the only ones here. I know that there's other men in the chat. And um, hi to you guys. I'm also speaking to you. Okay. Page of Pentacles. An excellent opportunity is presenting itself. Some of you are got a promotion or getting a promotion or got one. There's changes in regards to your career um, financial changes positive news about that um, some of you are getting a scholarship or going back to school for a new area of study or going back for another portion of your degree um, some of you might be becoming school teachers or you are school teachers of young children okay six of swords Wow, the end of challenging times. Things are looking a lot better. There's a welcome relief coming for you. Um, finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness for some. And also there's travel or relocation. So some of that, remember I was saying that proof, some of that's coming through as like, you know, your person and you moving in together or relocating. Uh, some of that, like that feels like material proof of some sort all right what else okay eight of cups for some okay for others listen listen up the need you have a need to move on from this you need to seek more 
than what you will be experiencing here with this person. You may be choosing to make big life changes. You have a change in your priorities. You may be leaving home or leaving this situation behind. Because like I said in the beginning, some of you are just, you put a time, you put a, you put a, you called time on it and you're not going back, okay? And you can do what you want, obviously. All right, charm time. Okay. I'm, all right, there's my shamrock again. Ireland, who hears in Ireland, or is Irish, okay? Or is, I, you know, whatever you got. Some of you definitely have are very lucky at this time. You have a lot of luck coming to you. Maybe you have a tattoo, uh, shamrock tattoo somewhere on your arm. Or I just saw on your ankle. Ah, that's a painful place. Maybe your foot. That's painful right there. But this feels to me... Okay, there's also someone's wearing um, shamrock necklace. You know, this... So, no, that's not a shamrock. That's a four-leaf clover. Excuse me. I got that wrong. I shouldn't have that wrong because I'm Irish. Um... The four-leaf clover is definitely luck. The shamrock is more spiritual. It's more the Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But we do have the fish here, okay? This is the Jesus fish, right? And this does represent a lot of things. Um, but this feels mostly, you know, Jesus, um, now they say his birthday was in December, and then he's a Capricorn. But he was born in the year of Pisces. And we're going into the year, uh, or the age of Pisces, excuse me. So he probably was Capricorn. He, Jesus makes, Jesus, I don't, I love, I absolutely, like, I, he was a healer and a teacher and such a beautiful person. But he was a strong-minded person. You know, he had all the temperaments. And, but he always reminds me of a Pisces. I don't know why. He just always does. But this is a very spiritual, this is about abundance. This is the story of the fish and the loaves. I don't know if you know anything about that. I know some of you do. But this is like, ask and you shall receive. Okay? Just ask. Something about your spiritual health. Okay. Wow. We have a candle. Is this a Christmas candle? Like, I can't make that up. It isn't anything else. Christmas candle. Some of you are putting those candle lights in your windows or you're, you want to, okay? You know those beautiful electric candle lights? Um, but there's a Christmas candle here. For those of you who celebrate, um, oh, they just, okay. This is a very spiritual message. I need, to, I need you to know. Some of you have a... Um, a parent or someone you were very close to who passed away was a very spiritual or religious person maybe they were irish or from ireland there's something here about i just got the message tell them to light a candle for me and around the holidays and keep it lit or even if it's an electric candle like in in remembrance i just heard that and now we've got an owl here which represents wisdom and truth um you know, that owl turns his neck all the way around, which means he's very, he has a lot of clarity. He's very wise. He sees all that goes on around him. Does somebody have like an owl bird feeder or something that hangs from a tree or somewhere? I just saw it in like a pine tree, like a, some type of a owl, but it's like a bird feeder. I don't know. I guess I don't know if that would scare the birds, like a scarecrow. <laughs> I mean... I just, okay, that's so weird. Um, there was an owl on a TV show back in the 70s, and he had like a um, graduation cap on. And he was, what was that show? New Zoo Review, I think. That is such a blast from the past. Uh, something is connected to that and also I'm just seeing how many licks does it take to get to the center of your lollipop <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's so candid. Oh my gosh, X-rated. Okay, there's a horseshoe. I told you, some of you are getting lucky. Very soon, you're getting lucky. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Come on, I want to get a charm that we haven't pulled. I know I'm picking out the charms. Maybe I should just stop here. Okay. You know what? I'm going to change up all my charms because I have about a thousand charms. All right. Some of you are definitely going to get like a text message emoji with a smile face. We're going, we are back in the 70s here with this. Um, somebody's got this. Okay. They just said somebody's got this fish on their car on the back of their car i don't know or you'll see if you see it if you see that this is your reading but look you're gonna get some kind of text or message from somebody this is a smiley face i don't know if you can see it because it's kind of blurry um that's how they're gonna reach out to you first they're gonna send you just like a smile okay um and some of you might be out or you see uh, one of these, you see emoji cookies. I don't know if you see emoji, God, I would love a cookie. You see emoji cookies or you make them or somebody's going to bake them um, like cute little emoji cookies to sell. Oh, that's so bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they would taste good. Maybe you're making them for a craft thing or something, or you're going to sell them. Or maybe you're eating one, or just a smile cookie. Or you see one if you're in the store, or maybe you recently saw one. Hey, if you have, this reading's for you, okay? A smile cookie doesn't show up all that often. <laughs> all right, you guys, so that's it for your reading. Don't forget, join me Friday which is tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to get a mini reading for me, $20. You just pop your question in the super chat and pay your $19.99 or $20, whatever it might be. You ask your question, like input it in the super chat, and then I will pull a card for you and do it like a tiny, it's a quickie, quickie little reading. And if you aren't able to make it there, tomorrow, Friday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, I will be live the following day, Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern until 1 p.m., okay? And that is uh, also $20, but I actually pull three cards for there because it's a much bigger crowd there. Um, although I haven't been there in a while. Um, I've just recently gone back, so I don't... There may not... There may not be many people in there, so if you want to pop in, definitely pop in. If you can't make one, you want to make the other, whichever. But those are the set times every week, so you can pop in Friday or Saturday to get a meeting, or click the link in the description box below, and you can schedule to book a personal private reading with me. And I usually do about two a day, two, maybe three, depending. So I don't have a lot of hours. Um, just because I'm so busy with other things. So if you really want to get it right away, I think I might have a slot open tomorrow. If you want a reading for tomorrow, just book it and there's no waiting unless I'm fully booked up. All right, you guys. So thanks for being here. It was good to see you. I will see you guys tomorrow evening or whenever the following day. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.